Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to make today is a fun recipe called Strawberry Cone Cakes. Now this is a recipe you could make with your kids or your grandkids, of course, just on your own for a little fun recipe. It's nice for a birthday, if you celebrate an anniversary or just because. I know we like doing them for fun days and certainly I want to share this one with you guys because it is indeed that recipe fun so if you if that interests you stick around and let's get started so what you're going to need is a dozen of those uh, ice cream cones that got the flat bottom so you can put it into your muffin pan and just put them in there you don't need to grease anything and I'm going to put that to the side. And now what we're going to do, we're going to make the cake uh, batter for these muffins. And I'm going to show you that. So what we're going to add in here is a half a cup of butter or margarine. And a half a cup of white sugar or sugar of choice. I also got over here two cups of frozen uh, strawberries you could use fresh right now uh, the frozen is probably the cheapest out there at Raymond A mm -hmm. and we want to make this meal definitely affordable so yeah so two cups of that three if you want and then what we're going to do is blend this up together I'm also going to add in there a teaspoon one teaspoon full of vanilla So now we're just going to take those, uh, the, all of that down from the sides. So what we'll do next, we're going to crack two eggs and separate them um, into a separate bowl. And Raymond was just saying, that's what it's all about right now. you got to go with what is affordable because the cost of groceries, the cost of living, and just being, I guess... It's unbelievable. Yeah, or just being wise to uh, yeah. having things that you've got in your home and uh, working with that. So we're just going to mix this together. And I'm going to pour it in with my milk. And I got one and a half cups of milk. I got to take some off so as I can fit it in there. And just mix it in like this. And gradually pour your milk and eggs in and blend it together. Okay, so that's all you need to do there. Now what we're going to do is sift in there two, two uh, cups of all-purpose flour or flour of choice. I'm using white air today. Uh, half a teaspoonful of sea salt and two teaspoonfuls of baking powder. So just sift it on in until it's all combined and then mix it by hand or with your annelled mixer until it's all blended. I just need to take it down from the side so Pretty much all we're doing here is making ourselves a homemade cake batter to put inside of uh, those tasty little ice cream cones. And uh, I don't know if I'm taking that off there now or putting it back <laughs> on. I think I'm doing both. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you a funny story after too. But okay. right now I won't tell you. I want to finish blending this. Okay. But I'll show you this first. <laughs> I had everything full, absolutely <laughs> full, and I think Raymond is full, uh, full yeah. of cake batter. Yeah. And that's that's okay. We'll clean up here, and then I'll show you what's next. This is a lovely cake batter, as you can see. Now, my funny story I was going to tell you. As we're preparing to get all of the, the ingredients poured out, so this is easier for doing the show certainly we can take it directly out of the container but it will take forever so i got cornstarch here for the strawberries and baking powder for uh, the cake but i got two containers that's identical so i noticed 
Then I add the baking powder put there for the strawberries and I add the cornstarch put there for the cake <coughs> for both and I just like Raymond we got to stop buying these affordable containers they look alike so I'm gonna have to have like flashing lights on these here so as I know <laughs> one is baking powder and the other one is cornstarch did I get that right baking powder cornstarch yeah. note to self when you buy things that looks alike so I hope you're getting a great our, chocolate of that our, because uh, we haven't stopped laughing this morning yeah no well see and what it was like you know I didn't really take notice of which one you were using, they all look alike. Oh me, my so. gosh, yeah. Well, they look, the containers look alike, for sure. Anyway, let's get filling up those ice cream cones. So probably just fill the ice cream cones up to about F, because it's going to, uh, it's going to kind of rise up anyway. Um, I'm just going to grab a spoon there, just to put that down there into the cone. So we want that ice, that uh, batter to be all the ways in there. And like you said, now if it's a little bit more, that's fine. But the reasons for that, we're doing a strawberry uh, cone cakes. And having said that, we need, um, we need room for the strawberries one, uh, once these are baked. So I'm just going to fill all of these up now, get the batter in there. And then I'll tell you what to do next. So this amount will make uh, probably 24 of these ice cream cones or um, I guess cone cakes or you could make uh, muffins out of the rest but you know you might want to make 24 because they're definitely pretty. So now that's all you need to do there. So after you've got them all filled preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Insert these in there in the middle rack for about 30 to 40 minutes depending on your oven because they're baking within the cone and then after uh, poke a toothpick in there if they're toothpick clean they're ready and I'll show you what that looks like uh, when they're done and then we'll get started on making our strawberry sauce that goes over the top absolutely delicious our strawberry cone cakes so I'm gonna pop mine in the oven our strawberry cone cakes are made. Um, two pick tender or clean. Just poke it in. If it's clean, it's done. Absolutely delicious looking. And we're going to cut out the middle of each one because now we're going to make a filling. We're going to make the strawberries to go over this strawberry cone cake. And again, two cups of frozen or fresh strawberries. So pretty much all of this is just going to get tossed into the bowl together. So pop in the strawberries and then the one cup of water. I'm going to add in here two tablespoonfuls of cornstarch. Get it all in there. I'll take the rest. And a quarter of cup of white sugar or sugar of your choice. I'm just going to get all this cornstarch. And now we're going to cook it on the stove top. Before I do, I'm going to cut out the middle of those muffins. Well, actually, the cone uh, cakes. So pretty much with just a, a sharp paring knife, cut out the, the middle of those little um, ice cream cones and just put there on the side. And of course, you could reuse them after, or again, you could just nibble on them. And you know, they're going to be nibbled on here in our place for okay. sure. Yeah. So just continue doing that, Raymond. I mean, you're funny. Continue doing that, just taking out about an inch of the muffin. I'm saying muffin, but the cake on the inside of these cones. So excuse me for saying muffin because I, I, I'm mm -hmm. looking at my muffin pan, see, and it's giving me that muffin sense. I got to admit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Raymond, we need you back to work. <laughs> all right. Okay. So pretty much all we're doing here now is just getting this um, cooked together. We're going to leave the strawberries uh, like this. So if you're using fresh strawberries, cut them in slices like this or in halves. And then put it on the stove top and let the cornstarch and the sugar 
and the water just cook there and come just a little thick not too thick because we want it to drain down over that cake um, in the cone so just keep stirring until that happens and I'm also going to pour in there about a teaspoonful of lemon juice freshly squeezed or you can buy it in the container and uh, let that for that little bit of citrus in there as well so we just keep stirring until it's thick or well, just a little thicker than this okay so this is the texture that we need the consistency now let's take it back to the counter and keep pouring it over those cones so pretty much after you've made your your um, strawberry sauce try to let it come to a little bit of a room temperature because if you put your cream on top or ice cream on top it's going to all melt down over but I'm going to pour in the strawberries into each one and the juice and show you that because it's it's cut open on the inside the juice is going to go down through so you're going to get that nice taste of strawberry right on through it so let's do that now the steam is just coming out of my strawberries so I'm only going to demonstrate a couple because I don't want to soak right through those uh, cones. So pretty much all you're going to do is take the juice and let it go down through that little top of your, your cone cake and add in a couple of strawberries making room because on top of that as well when this one starts uh, stopping running you put on some whipped cream or some ice cream so whatever your family wants your favorite ice cream or just some whipped cream or cool whip I got here on the side but just look how delicious looking they look and single servings your kids are gonna love this hey Raymond oh definitely I know Raymond is <laughs> oh yeah I could picture a couple of them right away you know, <laughs> they're no lovely problem. So now, like you said, you could use a little bit of ice cream on the top and then um, right now I don't think it's going to stay. And then when this is cold, it'll stay on there. Right now I don't even think it will. And then pour another bit of that strawberry on there or just a little dollop of the whipped cream or Cool Whip. Now, how lovely is that? Individual servings of your ice cream, strawberry ice cream cake delicious now I'm excited for you to make these but I'm gonna wait till this starts to cool down to fill the rest I'm losing my ice cream on this one actually this is the one that I'm even gonna taste and it's absolutely delicious I mean we had some just a little while ago but uh, um, we can't wait to make it for one of our grandchildren's birthdays or, or just a celebration mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to get a bit of this side. Mmm. So tasty. And the cone is still crunchy and a soft cake on the inside. Raymond, you're going to love this. I could, I could picture it's mm -hmm. scrumdiddlyumptious. Licking my finger, which is clean. I can't wait to finish that one. Two thumbs up by myself and of course Raymond because he's been <laughs> picking. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell stories. So if you enjoyed this recipe and you can't make uh, wait to make some <laughs> with you, your kids and your grandkids, I'm excited to finish eating that cone. The recipe is going to be posted at the bottom of this video. You can also find it on our webpage, www.bonitaskitchen.com. Also visit us on our Facebook or send me a message at bonnythekitchen at gmail.com. I love to get a message from you and answer as many questions as we can. I'm going to finish off these ice cream cones here now, our, our strawberry cone cakes. Let this cool down, get them all done, show you what they look like at the end. You are going to love them. So on behalf of myself, Raymond, and our team here at Bonita's Kitchen, we're not going to take any more of your time. We know it's precious. Two thumbs up this recipe, and from our kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day. If you're visiting our province, Newfoundland and Labrador, don't forget to visit Santa Claus Sands here in beautiful Santa Claus.
Join us again. Join us by the sea. Our journey in culinary. Always an open door. Bonita's Kitchen to yours. Bonita's Kitchen.